missed you guys honestly and i'm just very happy that you know we're back now so many questions where have you been where are you what's going on guys i'm here now i submit myself as a humble sacrifice for your use have you guys been though i hope you guys have been good i've been seeing you know some of your dms and messages and stuff popcorn 10 is back and you already know the good thing now is that we're on across you know all audio streaming platforms and of course on your tv right here on pop central tv dsv 189 my name is grand friends Ita, and i'm so happy to be on your screens you know this evening now today i have a guest for you now the guest starting this season you know i'm just saying that this season is a no drama season and that's why i'm starting this season with a guest that has no drama literally one of nollywood's sweetheart you know you've probably seen her in a couple of projects like um olotore adao Mo daddy meeting the fumis parents which is pretty new and a couple of other you know old works like anyola and many other projects you know ladies and gentlemen i need to stand up if you're sitting in your house and welcome the very amazing the very beautiful omowomi dada <laughs> how are you i'm very fine thank you listen first of all you look so good thank you you look very good like i kind of good oh thank you so much so i'm starting the season with you guys yeah you are hey Come always on. the first <laughs> never the last i one. love it <laughs> um see walk me through your look i need to know what you're wearing what you're wearing if you want to you know what are you wearing you don't remember um okay so while i was um a few months back mm. i just while you were in the, in I the just, UK? I just, uh, no, not UK, US. Oh, it, oh, sorry, while you were in the US? I just went to the store. Doing prof and things. Then I go away. I just bumped into the store and I just wanted to, you know, as women now, mm. you just want to shop things. And everything they had were all, they all had winter things, winter things. But then I stopped, I stopped into the store that had some summer things. And I wanted to shop for like Nigeria. Yeah. And then I bought this. I had never worn it. This shoe I've always had since. Yeah, so that's about, I put this look together. Like you look good, honestly. Yeah. Honestly, you look. Thank you. You look nice. Thank you. <laughs> See, I, I really don't know where to start this conversation from because you know it's there's quite a. <laughs> I, why is he laughing? <laughs> why Why are you keeping that face? What face? I was just looking at you. There's quite a lot of things to talk about, Omar. Okay. Me, to be honest, and um, first of all, your name Omowumi. Mm -hmm. The spelling is kind of different, you know. Yes. From Omawumi. It is Omowumi. Omowumi is a Yoruba name. Omawumi is Ishakiri. Ah. Kind of means the same thing, but there are two different languages. So I'm Yoruba. So my name is Omowumi which means i desire to have a child and i'm really big on correcting people who mistakenly call me omaomi i'm always like i'm not omaomi yeah sometimes i see press guys call me omaomi i'm like no no yeah yeah the Maomi we know is my sister my shakiri sister but mm. i am very much yoruba although I, I i do movies that are not yoruba and i mm -hmm. play cards that are not yoruba mm -hmm. but i am yoruba and my name is omaomi Dada. Ah, thank you. It sounds like music to my ears. Omomi. Oh, Omomi. Omomi. Dada. Dada. Exactly. Amazing. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I was, I've always said I was going to ask you, you know, what on, it means. In, yeah, in, okay. on screen, you oh. know, the difference between Omomi oh, okay. and Omomi. Yeah, that's so, it. yeah, thank you for, you know, clarifying that. Let's start from when I think this journey started. Um, it's it's going to be hard to really remember exactly when you started doing films but the, the from for me the last the region for me is um ojuju in 2014. oh wow I that is yeah are you paying <laughs> ojuju in 2014 that mm. is where i remember you seeing you first oh. yeah all the way in 24 that's that's the first time i ever saw you on my screens you know so mm. was that really the beginning or oh, definitely the... wasn't the beginning at all um, so I studied creative arts at the University of Lagos and while I was in school Because I was very sure that I wanted to be an actor not just studying it, but I wanted to be a practicing actor and filmmaker so um, Right from when I was in school. I started to attend auditions, you know for series for films for voice over you know different i started to just attend auditions and the funny thing is the first time i was in front of the camera was actually as a presenter what 
2008 it was the first tv reality show for kids it was called um kids alone what yeah so we had like 20 children in the house like big brother for kids yeah but then it was for kids yeah but then they had uh bookie writes then as their godmother so unlike big brother who they don't see the godmother comes in once a day into the house and they see her they talk to her and all that so i was the presenter for the show yes 28 2008 yes <laughs> crazy but the first time i was on stage was in 2007 and i had a school project yeah so titled mori me written oh. by Lekon Balogo. And the good thing with Unilag then, and I and I think they still do the same thing, is that when they have school projects, they invite um, professionals yeah. to come over and watch, yeah. and they kind of just scout for actors. So from there, some um, directors, stage directors noticed me, and then they would call me to audition. So from like 2000 and, since 2008, I decided to do stage plays and, you know, outside of school, I remember that when I was in year two in 2008, I did this um, musical play at Muson mm. Center mm. titled um, Princess, um, The Vision of Benedict about Saint Benedict, the Catholic oh. um, saint. Yeah, and I played her and some other characters. And it was a musical play. Also, I was rehearsing in school as a king of what? the Third World War. Yes, the story is that, that is what? <laughs> king, yeah. Not even a regent as a male king. Mm -hmm. And that was I because... I reckon arts, by the way, so I can... Oh, really? Yeah. And that was because our director wanted... So we had a few guys in my class. Mm -hmm. We had like maybe seven guys. Mm -hmm. Wale Ojo, Shinwa Is Jai. it? It was your class? Yeah, it was my class. Don't play! Me, Wale Ojo, Kemi Richards, Onyidamola, and of course me. Are you right? serious? My friend, we were five friends. Our friends, our classmates used to call us G5. And we used to talk about my class, hey, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Come through. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't want any of, you know, either Wale or Sheung or Tolukoka then to play the king. He was like, is there any other guy that's going to take the... None of them wanted to. So I said, me. He was like, no, I'm me. I don't want a female king. I don't want a regent. I want, to, I want a like male male king. And I said, yeah. Let's I was going to take it up. So while I was rehearsing in school as a male king, you know, rehearsing and deepening my voice like a man, mm -hmm. I was also rehearsing outside of school as a 14-year-old St. Bernadette. And, you know, it was a musical. And I was, doing, I was doing all the, all that I have said to you. So girl, you sing to. Are the words that she has spoken. You know, it was, it was really sing? crazy. <laughs> It was really crazy. Oh my god. And um funny enough, I remember when I was writing exams for that semester was when we were on stage and I had this course, um Total African Theatre. And that that course eh, and anybody you have to take extra eh? sheets. Hmm. And me, I was quite a scholar, you know, I took extra sheep, but then I had to be at Muslim Center as well. It was the first time in my life I took a bike from Unilag all the way to Muslim Center because I needed to be on stage. But as God would have it, I had the 5.0 CGPA that, that what? semester. Okay. Yeah, you know, and you know, from there, like I said, I started to attend also film auditions. Yeah. Then I got on Needles Eye. I got on some series, I can't remember. In my final year, I was on Tintel. I was also doing some things. And I was quite daring, you know? Yeah. Sometimes our lecturers would say, oh, next week we're going to have a test. I'll be like, ah, I have an audition. <laughs> or I have to be on set. And I'll tell my classmates, I'll redo. Yeah. But then I'll tell my classmates, that test will not hold. Then I pray to God. And many times it happens that way. Aww. You know, I was very optimistic about my craft. Yeah. It was just one time that the tests actually held. And I went back to meet the lecture. I was like, sir, what happened was that? I, I, can't, I can't remember. But you lied, What lie? But I you told, sound like. I think I might have said I had menstrual cramp or ah! something. <laughs> and he told me, okay, don't worry. Get the sheet of paper in his office. Yeah. Sit down and write. He gave me different questions entirely. Aww. For me. Scholastica. Uh, you understand? <laughs> So yeah, that was it. So after school, yeah. my lecturers wanted me to stay back because I was best graduate student Aww. in my class. What was your CGPA though? Your um, four point four six. Listen, 
I think that, but that's first class already. Uh, unfortunately. It wasn't? Uh, 4.1? 4.6. Oh. So it wasn't up to 4.5. Right. So I, I got it with two points away from first class as well. That's 4.48. 4 4.48, yeah. Yeah. So it was, it's, I mean, I can relate. What school? University of Rio. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, you know, there are some lecturers that, we had one lecturer way back then. She was our dance lecturer. Mm. And every time you go check your results, even if you're having fives and everything, with this lecturer, it's always like binary. We call it the binary. So it's always one zero one one zero one one zero 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 one. Eight for God. But me, I used to have at least C, three, <laughs> at least a, a, a three. Yeah. So so we, that was what was you Which, know yeah. kept bringing my CGPA yeah. down yeah. and everything. I don't think anybody ever with the, in theater. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody in my like before no. my set while that lecturer was yeah. in University of Lagos. I don't think anybody had like a first class. That's that's the crazy. most you would have is four point four yeah. something. Yeah. If I know someone who graduated yeah. four point four nine. Now, being the scholar that you are, and of course being the very um, artistry person that you are, um, I mean, we always hear things like, "Oh, you read theater arts? Just go and dance. Go and dance. <laughs> go and act and be going." You know, being that you've you've walked through that path, because person, I'm tired of telling people that. Listen, there's a lot of work that actually comes with reading this course <laughs> and getting to it. Do you want to maybe open the eyes a little bit, you know, to to the work that actually goes into you know reading theater arts or creative arts? As, okay. As the word so, is. let me use University of Lagos as an example. You start out. The name of the department is Department of Creative Arts. Mm -hmm. In your year one, you do everything: mm -hmm. theater, music. And visuals so you draw you do da, da, da. you take the theater courses as well you do the dance courses um you do music as well the where you do the theory yeah. of the music rudiments of music yeah. and then the choral practice and all of that when you get to year two is when you now major okay i want to be yeah. a music major or visual major or theater major guess what you still have to take one course from all of this you know sub departments yeah. Now, when people see us rehearsing, that's they see us jump up and down, talk about the I know that, I know that. Uh, you're only struggling for 40 max. I'm if you. I 30 max, 60 max comes from the theory, mm. and then 10 max from your attendance. Tell them. So, all that breaking of bone and everything is just for 30 max. max. Yeah. Now, unlike sciences, where one plus one can be two, mm. in the arts, one plus one can be five million as long as you can prove it. That makes sense. Yeah. So your lecturer can tell you, you can say, and we, we read a lot of books. In fact, all the while I was in Unilag, most I was majorly in Morimi, which was for scholars. Yeah. And I had law roommates. But guess what? I had more books yeah. than the than the students yeah. studying law. Because you had to read a lot. You have you, to read because plays. you have to read a lot, a lot of plays. So let's take a, a course, for example, that is Total African Theater. theater. I hate that course. You're, <laughs> I love it. Actually, the one it. I hate is 20th Century Theater. Oh my goodness. Listen, all those... Um, um, Hendrik Ibsen. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for example, let's even use 20th Century Theater, mm. right? And you're reading... And the books in those era, they're not Nigerian books. You're reading Russian books. Yeah. You're reading books from Germany and all of that, you know. And then the things that happened in that society, for mm. example, they had, um, there was feminism going on, there was socialism going yeah. on, there was communism going on, different things. And then you have to read a lot of books that cover all of those things happening in this society. And then your lecturer will tell you, um so socialism is the something 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 discuss using a book citing example blah, 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 blah. if you've not used if you've not read all of these There's books that he has given her. you you will know the best book that um best you will know the best play that you can use to 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 critique or critique um the theory of socialism mm -hmm. right now let's say you've read all the books you now pick one of them you now start to tell him how this book is best, um, it best describes socialism of mm. that era. Or better still, a socialist book. Mm. You pick it and then you use it for feminism. Oh, she? Scholar. Now, you now use a socialist book. You now start to prove to the lecturer mm. how this book is more of a feminist 
play you know than a socialist play yeah. you now start to cite out examples of how this character for example yeah. da, 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 how it affected this you, you have to be shit. as are you joking <laughs> you have to you write have to down. write because yeah. you're creating what yeah. we don't know out of or what we know out of something that doesn't exist yeah. Yeah. do you understand yeah. also you have to understand what communism is marxism is mm. Oh goodness! It's a it's, lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. And then also remembering the names. Do you get? The and that years, is and that is just era. yo. It's, one, it's the wildest. That's thing. just one cause. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I hope that this has been able to convince you <laughs> and not to confuse you that creative arts, theater arts, or whatever is not a joke. It's really know? tough. It's, it's, it's really it, tough. When you see not, people read it, not to talk of the Wally you know, cars. Stop it, please. His hot place. Like yo, you, the swamp dwellers. There is no way you will not. Who is who is afraid of uh, Kini Kong? Well, there's uh, quite a number of books that you had to you know read and then set examples. Crazy course, to be honest, you know. So <sighs> if you see anybody that reads it, doff your hands, them. you know, yes. for them. But yeah, let's talk about how you've transitioned from all of that. Now it makes sense to me that you read theater arts because for me. I think that this is no shade to anybody, but I think that people who've read theater arts, mm -hmm. some who've read theater arts, or most of them, mm -hmm. are more dedicated to the craft. When you see them actually practicing, you can see that there is some method acting to what this person <laughs> is doing, or some method directing to. So it kind of all, all, all makes sense to me. You're transitioning through the years, you know, from Country Hard in 2021 you know um to a place called happy 2015 to um you know all the films that you've done what has been that one constant thing that you think you have seen in your career from the beginning all through almost till this point you know there's this thing there's anything constant though there's a saying we there's this thing we say in the theater we say the theater is as strict as the military in discipline mm. Because the show must go on, mm -hmm, mm. and your audience is right in front of you. It must go on. You have to have they are they are there to see the show, so you you have to give your absolute best at that particular. There's no cut. There's no oh let me take that line again. Life. Everything is live. So I think that training really helped me. Also, um, because I studied theater, I got I got um, exposed to a lot of books, to a lot of acting techniques mm -hmm. directing techniques i was actually a directing major by the way interesting mm -hmm. you know a lot of that so it opened my mind to seeing things beyond how they are mm. you know so um i also read you know you have to understand that acting for film it's different it's from extremely acting and yeah. e extremely different from acting for stage That's the true. techniques are extremely different true. but because i know that and i'm passionate about the script especially because i know that i want to do film mm -hmm. i had to teach myself i had to learn you know one thing that i try to um put in my work is to see is to stretch myself mm. the harder a character is the more endeared i am to it mm. i always say that a mom is boring a mom is just a girl next door honestly and nobody deserves to just see your mom because <laughs> you're just going to be sleeping or reading a book or watching movies <laughs> and that's you, about i'm going to be bored what are you saying? If I visit you, I'm going to be bored. No, you won't be bored because I'm also an interesting person. But mm. I like how people think I'm an egg. I'm such an extrovert. No, I'm not. <laughs> Anywho, I'm just trying to say that um, with my craft, I love to see versatility. Yeah. I love to play characters that are very, very different from me, mm. that are challenging, that break me, that help me to stretch me, to see how far I can go. So, if you see my body of work, to God be the glory, the characters are always almost very different. From Ojuju, like you said, to even Jemeji, where I played for Lake, mm. to um, Madame Koi Koi, yeah. to um, Saze that I played. I played Saze on Game On, on Dani TV, Listen. to Deborah on Anyela to Oloture, to bring the bride true, true, in Death true, and the King's Horseman. True. The characters are always very true, different. So true. I'm very intentional yeah. about the kind of script that I take. Yeah. And there was something my dad told me when I was very young. He said, if you don't know where you're going to, mm. have every, I'm sorry. He said, if you don't know where you're going to, mm. every path will look like the way 
Mm. So you have to first have a picture of where you're going to, mm. and that will determine what pathway mm. you should that take. Makes sense. So I've been quite intentional about my career. Someone told me that, oh, I started acting like five years ago. I said, really? He said that was the first time he stumbled on any of my works. Mm -hmm. So in his mind, I started acting five years ago. So when I told him that the first time I was in front of, you know, a TV, a camera was in 2008, he was shocked. So the journey has been a slow and steady one, but I would rather it because mm -hmm. many times when you rush something, you don't take your time to master the craft. So I think this time, all this time that I have had, yeah. you know, to build one at a time and everything, yeah. they've made me it's a master of the crafts that I have now. Yeah. So yes, um, I'm very intentional about the scripts that I take. Mm -hmm. I knew I definitely yeah. wanted to do TV. Mm -hmm. So I had to learn yeah. and I'm always learning yeah. till tomorrow. I'm still reading books. I'm still watching That's videos amazing. on acting. When I watch movies, for example, I, a lot of people watch movies for entertainment sake. <laughs> I watch movies for different reasons. Yeah. I watch movies to learn and to entertain myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking, okay, this scene. Yeah. Why, how did she do this expression? Yeah. Okay, this one, that one, I kind of, and I'm always constantly working that's on beautiful. myself. That's yeah. Beautiful. So that's let's, let's talk about Madame Koi Koi. Such a, <laughs> listen, that character didn't speak a lot, but mm -hmm. it was such a, powerful character mm -hmm. as a matter of fact the entire story you know it's 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 surrounding and revolving mm -hmm. you know about that character getting into that character mm -hmm. what was it like for you and actually just executing that one so i mean in nigeria here madame kokoi is uh one of our urban legends yeah everyone well i don't know gen z's but millennials <laughs> they do know oh, gen z millennials like yeah. i'm one of them yeah <laughs> what um, yeah i'm a gen z millennial okay you know we know about madame koi koi mm. so when i was told i had to play that character mm. i had an experience when i was going into secondary school it was a federal government college Ijani came. we went for an interview and we finished really late then we sent one of our friends to cross who is he's one of the grimmers is muslim so we sold him to cross to the other side and get like biscuits for us because we we're so hungry he rushed back and he didn't, he didn't get the biscuits. We were like, why? What happened? He said he saw two shoes walking. I'm not even kidding. So that was the cue for us all. Nobody from my school, my not primary school went to. two shoes walking? He was he lying? Shoes. Yeah, no. Because some people also saw it. Some of the people who were in front of the bus, like, so they could see, they saw the two shoes walking. So I know that there are mystical creatures. You know, that you've not experienced them doesn't mean yeah. they don't exist. Yeah. So there's a possibility that Madame Koi Koi actually exists or not we don't know but i mean people have said they've experienced her and all that so playing her i had to read a lot of materials on who this person is why she's this way because apart from the script which says why she's that way are there other um stories or are there other versions of the stories about her you know so i had to read a lot and i had to immerse myself i did a lot of praying too I'm mm. a Jesus girl mm. and I also know that the spiritual controls the physical and I'm also very spiritual with my work so I did a lot of praying I'm not gonna lie that sometimes I had bad dreams during that period Are you because serious? Mm, it might just be psychological too you know and it was really challenging playing that character six hours I'm sitting down they're doing makeup my hair this one putting all sort of things on my body trying to look like the character I know that I'm screaming I'm doing that <sighs> sometimes walk, sometimes so. people will see me filmmakers and they're scared because i mean we're all working together they know i'm going to do makeup right but then they're scared because the character is it's just very scary yeah very scary so yes playing madame Quico was very mm. um was quite challenging yeah. but i'm happy that i yeah. did and most importantly because i felt like i feel like the story of her needs to be told people just think oh this wicked woman that is just killing children blah, blah 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 and all that but according to what we heard there is a reason why she's doing that mm. you know because she's been xyz in her past life and yeah. blah, blah 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 and all that so, so many she's stories just to it, what do you say there's so many stories to madame mm -hmm. so basically 
apart from seeking revenge she's just well according to the story she's just yeah. out to met met out justice on people who are doing the bad things yeah and i wanted to actually beat you up in 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 faces right on on, on danny um, oh game on game on, rather. <laughs> i'm just like what is wrong with you like what is Saze. wrong with you Saze. so annoying like and it, i know and what you're so stressed. sweet and annoying yeah but like, like so there's that character you love out. so much yet you're like why is this but girl because she's like way? so sweet so like you can't really hate her but then she just does something like would you Wait, get out they worry this girl <laughs> i know so good well done thank you is there any character that you would never play like i'm never ever gonna play this character like i don't i don't want to see it just keep it going i'm not playing it i think the character that i won't play is a character that is that i just don't believe in mm. so i have my values mm. and so the character necessarily doesn't have to speak my values but as long as at the end of the day maybe the lesson it's surrounding something right yeah the lesson you know helps to teach to do better yes i oh, will okay. play the character mm. but if a character it doesn't project my values and the essence of the character is to um is to justify a bad behavior i don't think i'll play the character mm -hmm. ej <laughs> please i don't want to be controversial <laughs> let's just leave it that way <laughs>。<音楽><音楽>
get your actors to be completely naked to show that they're madly in love and all that no and you can even shoot a sex scene without seeing vitals but for a lottery for example we needed to show that you know pubic hair was being cut because in real life that's what they do we needed to show that some of them they would scurry they would get they would cut them part of the rituals and rites you know for this um for these people who take them as illegal migrants mm -hmm. you know they will cut them they put um rituals and yeah, jazz and and things, jazz incisions and all over their body their breasts oh God, their private parts crazy. their back so be but the reason for showing all that is not to show sexy girls you know and their yeah. body parts yeah. is to tell the story. the story and to help people make better decisions that this thing has to be stopped mm. yeah. so sometimes when you don't go so far people will not really understand how far and how bad it is yeah so that makes yeah. sense that actually makes a lot of sense and i think i agree with you you know if i mean if it's not needed why mm -hmm. you know like why do we have to why do you have to be naked you know you know if, even if, more, if, 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 it's if, even if, more interesting when it's yeah like <laughs> <laughs> now another thing you know which is very interesting to me is that you've you've somehow managed to stay out of drama stay out of controversies you, you've stayed out of all of these things mm. how are you able to be in the same industry and we barely you know hear drama barely see drama from your end you know no drags no nothing no scandals you are literally one of those actresses with almost no scandal in fact no scandal no controversy like we don't hear it how is that possible drink water to that cheers to that thank you i practice the art of <laughs> drinking water drama which is very healthy to me and all and minding my business <laughs> also what i practice the art of keeping my private life private if it doesn't add to my work i don't put it out there if it's not necessarily to be seen mm. i don't put it out there mm. there are so many successes that god has blessed me with personally that doesn't add to my craft so i don't put it out there so but the things that I put out there are more for achievements, for my craft, to encourage young people, you know, also to say that you can, you can do things right and mm. achieve greatness. Mm. So I mind my business a lot. I keep my private life private. Mm. And I just try as much as possible to carry Christ everywhere I go to. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Talking about private life and keeping things private. Mm -hmm. I remember that I think in December 2022, 20, mm -hmm. you announced your engagement. Mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> this big. What's up with that though? What's up? You did not hear me when I said I keep my private life private. But you shot brought Mona, the, no vex. Why do you now bring nah, engagement nah, to is my is, what made you think that that wasn't, you know, just for the fun of it? Because you never play like that. Mm, I don't play dirty, right? No, you don't play like that. You don't play like that. It wasn't no movie. It wasn't, mm, it wasn't, it wasn't? anything. Mm -mm. No, we don't know. You know, in this industry, you have given me like five husbands. You shall have or husbands, five, so. You have given me like five husbands or five boyfriends. You do have it. There is Jay on air. There's, there is. I, I saw you for the show recently. Like, mm -hmm. hey, hey, couple there's Jay on air. There's Ty of Funny Row. Mm -hmm. There is. Timini. Oh, there's Timini as well. Right. There is. The was time it was Talk by Tedella. Yeah, I remember that. Then there was. I think like five, Sha. Mm. In my mind, I was like, Oh, Kule Remy too. At some point, yeah. Yes, you even Kule look Remy. like the wife. Uh -huh. You guys are like. I mean, there is that know. as well. You people. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe 
That's all. Tell me now. It's just me yeah, and you. I'll find out. I mean, it's just me. No, I do. I do. Could it be that you're probably married somehow? We don't know. Because you, eh, the way I'm moving. I mean. You, if you marry, get like two children like this. <laughs> See, eh, grand prince, <laughs> flesh and blood did not reveal you it to me, but my married. father in heaven. Mm. Nah, so now, eh. no need. Like, me, Sha, eh. like, that's the kind of person. Maybe my honestly. children will be 16 years old. Who doesn't play? So one that's day. why I was very, you know, surprised when you posted the engagement. And then, you know, after that, like, we just haven't heard anything. You're not even wearing your engagement ring anymore mm. today. <laughs> <laughs> I know people really want me to spill, Abby. What's up now? What happened? Let's drink water to it. What happened? <laughs> what happened to what? Every the engagement thingy. I want to know. Cheers. <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Mm -hmm. One day. No you matter want to how you think, to see Christmas pajamas shoes. You shall, you shall, at least, even if you don't want to show face. Eh? Just. At the face, so. At the on face, so. In fact, after I made that pose, I'm like, ah! Are you serious? Mommy, you mess up. That's, that's interesting. That's interesting. But I love it for you. I love it for you. It's it's actually a really good thing, you know, to do. Uh, I'm just be happy one day and we see like 10th year anniversary. That's the kind of person this babe is. She would do it, guys. And she would not. You I'll know, do it with Jesus' strength. You know, I don't even know if I'll you. post that one. Yeah, you also really love Jesus and you really love God and you talk about God all the time, mm -hmm. talk about Jesus all the time. Mm -hmm. um, is it something that has always been there for you or it's something you discovered or it's something that you know that without Jesus or without God, you almost mm -hmm. cannot do your career? You know, what is it for you? Is it a routine? Is it important to you? Is it a part of your life? What is it? It's the essence of my being. Jesus Christ oh. is the essence of my being. I'm no, I don't exist without him. And this is something I've realized a long time ago. Apart from, apart, apart from being born into a family where I was born into a Christian home, mm. but not just Christian, like you go to church kind of Christian, like understanding and having a re personal relationship with God. That's the kind of home I was brought, mm. I was brought up in. But even as I grew older, I understood Jesus more for myself. And I would say that I'm a child of grace. Mm. Every part of my life, I see Jesus. You will not believe that. I always say, even and I and I and he's very much involved in everything that I do. As he should. <laughs> Is as people say flimsy as saying, Holy Spirit of God, help me with my makeup. And when I do that is when I will do the makeup and it will look like I, I maybe one makeup artist did it for me. Or I get into my closet, I'm like, ah, oh, Holy Spirit, please help me with what to wear. And when I put it together, bah, 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 you'll sex. be like, ah, ah, we'll style doing it. It's a Holy Spirit. That is so personal to me like that. Today, for example, I did my makeup myself. I put my outfit together myself. With the help of the Holy Spirit. Yes, exactly. And that's how it is. That's the kind of personal relationship we need. And that's what Christianity is all about. Because Christ has died and he has availed us all of the great and mighty things of this world. We have it inside of us. We just need to activate and start. Come on now. And start to enjoy it. It's all right. Says, the Bible says, seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing will be added unto thee. For as much as you have seek, that's the only thing you need to Just do. To seek seek this kingdom of God. Every other thing is available to you. It's at your disposal. Now, the anointing that a pastor has is the same anointing you carry come as on, a born again come Christian. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's just like, you know, when you go to the gym, mm. Right. You have it in you to live healthy, to bulk up, to have six packs and everything. But it's the person that goes to the gym every time, that exercises and everything. That's the person that buffs up. The it's the same thing with the pastor. So the pastor can say, be healed immediately and you're healed because he has activated uh, yeah. the gift of the healing in his life. Mm -hmm. We all have it. Mm -hmm. You just need to come to that understanding and exercise it. That's all. Interesting. Okay, let me not preach to you. Love it. Come on, ladies but and gentlemen. I'm a child, I am a child Offering of time. grace. God has, God continually does his yeah, wonders beautiful. in my life. And that's probably also because I always say, God, all of you and none of me. Mm. I say that acting, which is, 
and my craft as an actor was a gift given to me by God to bless the world. So acting is not just for money, I'm passionate about it, blah, 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 blah. It's also a ministry mm. to me. Mm. And my life is, I always say my life, I would live my life as an example to the world that you can the, be in God and still you be can be in God and still be great. In fact, the essence of you being a Christian is to rule the world. Shine your is light to, to the shine world. exactly. If Jesus was alive today, ah, you know many people follow us. They follow uh, Jesus. Most, most popular. Do you understand what I'm saying? If Jesus was alive today, he would be doing great things. Yeah. Yeah. And he has given, he has died, which has been the ultimate price. Oh. So he has availed us the ability to shine, to grow, to soar. And to he, this word was given to us. He, God created it. Yeah. So Love yeah. it. Uh-uh. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Pastor Omo Me Dada, you look like you know those mommy jeers are like somebody praise the Lord, raise your sound. Ah. Hmm. I'm yourself. the righteous. When every morning when I talk I'm to myself, there's some things God in, Christ in Christ Jesus. Jesus. I'm the Come redeemed on. of God. All my hey. sins are forgiven. I am Abba's favorite. Uh, yeah. Are you joking? Come I am through. passionate. When I, I am passionately Listen. loved by God, I'm, I am oh powerfully God. helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. In the image of God. Are you joking? Words, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that people under really underestimate the power of. I'm sorry if you're not a Christian. Honestly, you're missing. This, this just, I mean, this just PSA, you know, it's so powerful. And you know, it at the end of the day, you realize that this is what actually helps you. It's in moments like that that you realize that, you know, God has actually really helped you because he has. really for some, for some of us, I, I think that the journey and what we're doing is just God holding our hands and just walking through I have it, learned to trust you know, him because the I mean, projects that do not come to me, oh. you know, he, at the end of the day, it makes me realize why he didn't put me there. Some projects I want, oh God, why am I not in this project? I've auditioned for you. It's clinical, clinical. By the way, even as big as I am, I still attend auditions. So, as you should. <laughs> oh yes. So sometimes I'm like, why did they pick me for this role? Da, 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 da. And at the end of the day, I realize that, oh God. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. So I always say, what he not give me, I no go take. Door we God no open for me, I no go enter. The doors, some doors will open. But if they were, if they're not opened by God, in fact, I pray God, door we you no open, shut them. Because it will lead to destruction. So whatever it is you don't give me, yeah. I won't take. Yeah. The places you don't take me to, I won't go. I always say, even and you know, to the, to sometimes when I have like crazy characters that I'm playing, and I'm like, God, how am I going to play this scene? I have no idea. When I go into prayer, and I'm, and I'm like, Holy Spirit of God, please help me. All of you and none of me. I have no ability of my own. I cannot do this by myself. I can't act. Holy Spirit, please take charge. Act through me. Let it. <laughs> by the time we're done with that scene crew they're like bah, 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 bah. even me i'll be like what just how happened? did i do it it's god i'm grateful to god Aww. i am so grateful to god Aww. that's amazing thank you for sharing that was very very emotional you guys <laughs> so emotional but i mean it, it is what it is it's a reality you know if you don't see these things people will just think that oh maybe you just you, do, you get leg for somewhere you don't get you get leg show me way you know you don't talks like that. You don't know that these folks are actually on 12 a.m. The only day, 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 day. leg when I get <laughs> now Jesus. <laughs> I say it anywhere. Jesus is my connect. Period. I don't know anybody. Jesus. Naim. Naimu. Now I saw he carry you go he anywhere. Is, so. he, I'm telling you, because I didn't know anybody. At the university? I didn't apply. I don't know anybody. I was the first person that reached out to me for the school. I didn't know him from Adam. He reached out and said, oh, something, 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 something. In fact, they asked me, they were like, they want me to be their global artist in residence. Mm -hmm. I have the, to do this, to do this, to do this, to do this, to do this. I should think about it, please. Is this something I would like to do? It would be an honor. I didn't know them. 
Let me say, yeah, I know one uncle, brother, sister, auntie. Mm mm. Mm mm. Which is wild. It was all God. And then you went to the US, you know, you did, you were there for a couple of weeks. No, know. months. The is semester, it? the whole semester. Is it? How many mm -hmm. months? Three months, a whole semester. Crazy. The, the, the fall semester. How was that experience for it you? It was though? so beautiful. <laughs> It was cold. Michigan is a very cold place. Yeah. But it was really beautiful. I got to meet a lot of people. But most importantly, impact. These young people, a lot of them are not blacks. They're oh, white. Yeah. You know, getting to talk about Africa, Nigeria, the essence of us as a people, our culture, our identity, the values of our system, mm. you know, our cultural heritage. Then talking about our filmmaking, the stories that we tell. Yeah. And, you know, I realized that we're not the rate ourselves. Well, I... I'm not even joking. Some of my films were screened at different classes. In fact, Ayala was screened at the State Theatre. Very well, Ayala was so good. No, oh, thank Deborah you. Deborah was brilliant. Thank you. It was such a, it was, she was, she was really cute and just, it was just fresh. It was <laughs> just, she looked very innocent, but yeah, it was so good. Yeah, you know, so at the state theater in Michigan, the mm -hmm. state theater, Angela was screened, and we had a lot of white people there. You watching you know, the translation, yes, it was. I mean, Angela is in uh, uh, Europe, is Angela is in Yoruba, mm -hmm. the language is Yoruba, mm -hmm. but they were glued from beginning to the end, and they had loads and loads of questions. And you could tell they followed the story and they were so happy learning from us, like on this, knowing the man called Ayala mm. and how he pioneered the Akbala music. Mm. So I related, I told them, do you guys know Afrobeat? They said, yeah. I said, do you know who pioneered Afrobeat? They didn't know. And I told them a fella, Nicola Bokuti. So this was us telling our own story to the world. We know the Michael Jacksons of the world. We know the Beatles. We know the Whitney Houstons of this world. It's about time for people to know that we as Africans are awesome. We are amazing and we have icons. Yeah. Do you get people you. celebrate? I mean, like our music has gone worldwide and our music has put us on the global space. Yeah. Our films are also doing the same thing. Yeah. Jag um, Jagu Jagu, for example, was number one language film on Netflix yeah. for a long time. Yeah. It means that all over the world, people watched Jagu Jagu yeah. and they learned about I think us. We're, under we're underestimating ourselves a lot. Ah, it was too beautiful. I remember one class I had 200 students. There was only white students. There was only one black guy in the class. And we screened Elish Yoba. Mm. And the topic that I had to talk about was um nollywood gender and environmental futures by the time i was done with that class and we you know talking about eleshioba as well a lot of them were like oh my goodness they're going back home to watch it again and to watch other african films oh, nigerian films amazing because mm -hmm. i mean sorry calling you proper mo or me you know <laughs> it's so cute do you think you might ever get into that and proper do like a proper lecturing thing in the future training thing yeah yeah like that's fine. lecturing thing in the future i mean as much as i have the opportunity why yeah. not yes I will. great all right guys we're gonna go now i mean check out some films that it's so good during the holidays i know you guys missed me telling you how much movies i've made in the box office mm -hmm. the entire holiday was crazy listen this december was wild <laughs> it was mad yo the pr stunts. What? no we, yo listen nah nah I, I i just have to give it to nollywood for doing such a great job, you know, and we in terms ruled of the PR. cinemas. It was that amazing? Not like we ruled the cinemas. That's what it is. I mean, mm -hmm. we were above films like uh, uh, Aquaman mm -hmm. in weeks. You know, I'm just like, no, this is mm -hmm. good. So I'm going to be telling you about um, about four films, five films actually. Um, you know, during the holidays and the amounts of money they've made in the box office. Starting off with um, Adam Daddy, of course. Yeah. A mommy stars lead as Ada. As Ada, literally, you know. The titular How character was that friends for you, though? It was beautiful. It was mm -hmm. so much fun shooting. Yeah. The thing was so funny some, some parts. Like, <laughs> I going? know. The wedding, taking it so seriously. Like, you guys did a proper We vibe. did a proper wedding. Jesus. We, uh, it was a proper wedding. I got into the set of the wedding, and I'm like, 
Okay, I think this is the idea Auntie Messi Aigbe had. She decided to to sponsor a wedding for me. She's like, oh, mommy, I love you so much. Here's your wedding. Just come bring your groom. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was like a proper wedding. Yeah, like, the, we could see the food, the decor, the bridesmaids, the groom. She didn't leave any Bro, every, it was, I'm like, what? Amazing. It made um, over 220 million naira as a last week. Mm -hmm. It has been gross of over 220 million, which is just insane. Her first cinema film. Yeah. You know, so shout out to you, Tayo, and the rest of your cast and crew members. And to Miss Tai as well. Mercy, of course, you know, for putting in so much work and giving us. And the directors, Eke Mason. Yeah, and yeah. Mr. Um, yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys deserve Adibayo, it. Yeah. You guys deserve it. And then we have up next, we have Malaika, um, Tony Abraham's um, production as well, yeah. making over 300 million naira in the past, you mm -hmm. know, up until last week, you know, entire December and all, which is just also really wild. 300 mm -hmm. million is a lot of money. It's a lot of the money. Nigerian box office. So. The story about yeah. women, fertility, motherhood, yeah. womanhood. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's quite tropical. Absolutely. And then we have Aquaman. Not a Nigerian story, so I'm not very much excited about that. But I Aquaman seen surprisingly it. made over 500 million naira, which is wild. It should have been going above that. Uh, well, because Nigerians at this particular point in time want more Nigerian stories. Yeah, I think we're beginning to embrace we, that. Yeah, exactly. And um, we've gotten our culture back mm. into the cinemas. Mm. So Nigerians will go to the cinema now to watch Nigerian movies. Yeah. And that's a thing of pride for us yeah. as an industry. Yeah. Yeah. This doesn't mean to say that, you know, the Aquamans of this world are not great films, but Nigeria mm. just Nigerians just want to relate more mm. with content that are peculiar to us. Yeah. Yeah, and then we have a number one. We have a trap called Judo, of course, Yay! by Funke Akindele. Um, it has made over 1.4 billion naira. That's a lot. Jesus yo. Christ, what? That's a lot. When are they see this money are big? <laughs> Go out. What? Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. I should start acting or maybe producing or something. That one saved day. Yeah, and the thing <laughs> come, you know. What are you watching right now? Um, what am I watching right now? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Oh, oh, what have you seen this, recently? No, this um, Grisella. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Yes. You guys Griselda, go check it out. Yeah. Yes. Griselda. Which was, um, which was played by... Sofia. Sofia Vergara. Mm. Oh, my goodness. She's so... Like, it, 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 you know, I've seen her in Modern Family, and I'm used to the Modern Family acting that mm. she's done. And then seeing her play Griselda was just like, yo, this woman, this is some Oscar-deserving... I'm not a huge you know, fan acting. of series, because I like to just watch a film, get yeah. all the knowledge I used to be like everything. that, but... You've started, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Next year Trust by me, this time. I'm watching it because it's a limited series. Right. Yeah. Because I don't have the time because of work and everything. And series have a way of, you know, you can't really concentrate. You just want to know what's next. Da, 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 da. Ah, nah, I don't like stress. I don't yeah. like anything that will okay. stress me. So let's start the film, finish it, and move on to doing great things of yeah. life. Yeah. But because it's a limited series, yes, I can watch it and enjoy it. Yeah. But so far... Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Interesting, guys. Um, I'm going to tell you my recommendation for the week. I'm just going to recommend two films for you to go check out this week. Um, one is currently on Netflix, and that is Griselda, of mm -hmm. course. It is so good, you guys. Check it out. And trust me when I say it is it is really good. Really you good. know, I've seen it myself, and I think that, you know, it's something you should see from the acting to directing, the mm -hmm. thought out, the fact that it was set in the in the Production 1980s, design. you know, mm -hmm. like designing and everything, the hair, the makeup, everything yeah. is properly thought out. They made her look ugly. Jesus. What? Oh, not as fine. Yeah, you know, they just, I mean, and it's a real life story mm -hmm. of Griselda, a woman who was a drug mogul, Baron. literally. Like, see, somebody said something, said, the only person I've ever been afraid of life. No way, Griselda. let me, let me, hold on. Is... No, 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 that's <laughs> not how I said it. So when you click on Netflix yeah. and it opens up, yeah. you see this word. Yeah. The only man. Mm. I have ever been afraid of exactly. in my life mm. is a woman Man called, called Griselda. Griselda. And that Guess was who by said who? It? Guess who said it? Pablo Escobar. Escobar. <laughs> the woman. Like, you, you just have to watch it. You. No, you guys go check it out. Honestly, check it out. Like, for Pablo, so was scared of Griselda. Bro, she be bad. She bad. She, she bad. You know. But you know, at the end of the day, you'll be like, oh, I can't really blame her because 
even though she, even though she could have made this. better decisions. <laughs> but I mean it. I mean, look at it. If she didn't do that, we'll probably not be talking about her today. You know. So. Well, why are we talking about her for doing bad things as opposed to doing great things? I think things that is just life? very yeah. But it's just it's interesting to see a woman, you know, be in charge of that large an army of men and just doing stuff like that. It's not good stuff, but it's just fascinating, you know. To we we'll talk about Margaret Thatcher. Right. She did great. Yeah. For Britain. Yeah. We we'll talk about. Queen Amina of Zaria. Yeah. We we'll talk about more and me. I mean, yeah. let's even talk about Nigeria yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to do bad things to be right. remembered right. and have your you. imprint on the sense of time. Yeah. My do good. Second, do good. My second recommendation would be um, meeting the Funmi's parents. Meeting Funmi's parents. Yeah, meeting Funmi's parents. Which is currently showing in the cinemas. Showing in cinemas. And yeah. Um, Adal Modadis. Um, lead character <laughs> or more amazing on that one as well. I have seen it. I think it's very interesting, you know, to see that our culture is being, you know, seen in that light. Um, although some people have things to say, Cinema Pointer and a couple of other, you know, critics have had things to say about it. I'm going to let you go watch it next week. I'm going to give you my honest, you know, review and critique on that one. So you guys um, look out for that one. But yeah, that has been the size of the show today. It's been great doing this with you. Yay! Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Thank you Honestly, for me. by the way, it was an extreme sport. I lost like twenty pounds trying to get a mommy <laughs> on this show. I'm just putting that out there so that we I'm all so know. So happy to be here, last last. Uh, <laughs> are you? Are you though? No, yes. <laughs> yes. But thank you for coming once again, and I wish you like all the best in your career. Thank you. I want to see in Hollywood. Amen. Yeah, From I your leap to God's ears. Yeah, I want to see in Hollywood. I want to see you do great things, and you know, I'm Amen. hoping somehow. You know, maybe you'll be the first person to bring the Oscars back to us. Amen. You know. Nothing is impossible. Yeah, yeah. So well done. Thank, thank you for you. showing up and thank, thank you for you. being there. You can follow Maomi Dada across all social media platforms. Maomi Dada. Yeah, you can see it on your screens right now. Go ahead and follow. Be part of the conversation. Watch out for what's coming next. You know, hopefully she wishes, she shows us her 10th year anniversary soon. You know, you guys don't even <laughs> know about it. Follow our crystal shows. You have vlogs are interesting as well. Stories, very exciting, you know, as well. So you guys follow and be part of the conversation. Follow Pop Central, of course. And this is Pop Central on Instagram, on X at Pop Central TV, on TikTok at people of pop underscore underscore. And you should follow Popcorn10 at Popcorn10 underscore across all social media platforms. My name is Grand Prince Ita, and this has been my time on the show. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Follow, 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 follow.